Hey guys, how's it going? Yachty here, and I'm bringing you a new video today. Basically, what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be doing a basic editing, um, I guess you would say like tutorial, um, with Sony Vegas. Obey Chiefs did something like this on his channel. He called it Video Editing for Dummies. I'll leave a link in the description for that playlist. If you guys want to check that out, that's actually really good. I love it. I still use it, you know. And I mean, I'm not the greatest editor ever. I know that. Um, I'm still quite new at it, but I mean, it's helped me a lot in my time I've been editing basically just making videos with Sony Vegas just whether it's my surround or being serious about it so anyways you know you have your file edit view of your other bullshit <clears throat> um but anyways here's your new uh, new file open file save file save as file render as and properties and then right here is your import media now your properties is also right here uh, you'll be using render as later and I'm gonna show you um, that in just a little bit but as you just saw before it's basically what you're gonna be learning i'm gonna do it a little bit differently than video it's basic, but otherwise it's the same exact thing now this is probably gonna be this I, I could be wrong though but anyways whatever this is go to your drop down and change it to hc 720 60p you might only have 30 um 30p which if that's true it's basically just gonna be this 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 might be it um so make sure this is um, 1280. I mean, if you just type in, you know, regular 1280, shit, that that'll be fine. Let's open the back up. Now it's still 30 frames though. Make sure this is 1.0 square. Now your frame rate, you're gonna want to change this. I don't know if you have that. You might only have this and this. I've had Sony Vegas for a long time, but just type in 59.94, and then you hit enter. Um, everything else should be the same. Uh, if not, make sure this is on best. And then your motion enabler, that's up to you, but I suggest using only these three. These bottom three, it gets just really, it, I don't know, it just gets complicated and shit. Your audio, uh, it should be 44.1 thousand. <clears throat> Once you're all done with that, though, just go ahead and hit apply, and then hit OK. Um, now you'll have another thing right here. If you just hit that X, that's it's going to look like this on the side. Just hit that X over here on that, uh, there, it's like a sound monitor thing with a little bar that's going right up and down right here. Just hit an X that's about right here. And then, now we're ready to import a clip. So go to import media. Let's start, I'll go to my desktop. This is all the shit that's on my desktop. You know, all my files. Mine is in my um, removal disk. I'm gonna go to my music file, my rock. And right here is a song I'm gonna use. Now, once you have a file in here, um, click on the media that you want to use so if you have like more than one you can just fuck with this one i mean if you want to split it you don't split the rest of it but uh if you if you want to delete the pathway or whatever you know your track just click right here and you can hit delete on the thing so let's do it again we'll hit delete but we'll bring it back down <coughs> now to split um a uh, audio video audio file you hit s on the keyboard hit s it's going to split if you hit M on the keyboard, it's going to create a marker. If you just press enter, it'll basically just it'll do that without moving your cursor. My enter is not working correctly, um, just with the program. So I'm going to delete this and move this back. <coughs> um, I'm going to show you guys one thing real quick. Oops. All right, so to speed up a file, like usually you do this with videos, but if you just hit um, control on the keyboard, or hold control, I'm sorry, let go, it's going to go back, but hold control. If you gap it closer together, it's going to get faster. If you pull it further away, it's going to get slower. I'm just going to delete that. Uh, that's just for later when we start splitting uh, the clips. Alright, so we're going to go and I'm going to import three clips, but I'm only going to show you guys how to sync for two. So I'm going to go here. Let's go here. I'm going to pull in the same three clips. Mm -hmm. Now I'm just gonna. I'm actually only. I'm actually gonna do two. I lied, because I'm gonna be doing this differently. So if you guys saw my upload on my episode, um, that's how I'm kind of how to do the first clip. So I'm just gonna title this shot. So let's just go to the last shot, which is right around in here. Oh, this I put on half. Just because it, it'll load faster for me. Uh, all right, so I'm just gonna use my I I use my arrows. 
So let's just go right here, split it. Now let's just put it right there. And this is pretty much done as it is. We'll just slow this down just a little bit. All right, sorry about that. Um, so this clip is pretty much already done. I'm just going to give it a little fade in effect. So it's going to slowly come in. And I'm just going to... I'll start it right about here. And I'll fade it in. I'll go back a little bit yet. So this is the music is still fading in. But now it's just going to really fade in. And basically my last shot is going to be on the marker. So this is where all the all this stuff's going to come in. But I'm going to play the song through. I'm going to press M on my keyboard to create a marker on every drum beat. But I'm going to keep it steady. Okay. All right, so that's plenty. Um, so I also want to show the multi uh, right up there. So I'm gonna I'll start it right about here. Get the reload in there. That's gonna look really nice. And then I'll cut it right about there. Sorry, my computer's being really slow. It's just not deleting it for me. So there's a built-in plugin called Velocity. If you just um, right-click on the clip, like, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't go through one thing. Make sure that the resample disables. So right-click on your clip, hit Properties. Do this for every video clip you put into Vegas. Disable resample and disable the main maintain aspect ratio. <laughs> then hit OK. Not to do this on all three because I already did all that stuff. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> now I'm just. I'm going to split this clip right when, alright, so right there. See how it kind of changes. So I'm going to split it, and then I'm just going to slow it down, bring it right up here. Now I'm going to go five frames to the um, right side of the second marker. So one, two, three, four, five. I'll just bring it over one more and then slow it down a little bit yet. <laughs> now I'm just going to slow this down. Oops, actually, I'm only going to do a three. Three is good because um, basically it's, it fades out and then fades be fades into the next part. And it looks really nice. <laughs> okay, sorry, it's being really slow. <laughs> okay. So now that, all right, so I'm going to go frame by frame and show you guys what it looks like. And then you got the multi kill, and it's slow mode out. Now it, I want to go past. Uh, no, not quite. I want to just go out a little bit more. So I'm gonna right click on my clip, go to insert, remove envelope, and velocity. But I want to activate. I want it checked. So if you go in, it's gonna create the screen line. Now I don't want to create any points. On it. I'm just gonna kind of drag it down because it's already to the. It's already starting to slow, or it's already starting to do the slow mo. Now it's just going to slow it down a little bit more. I don't want to do it too much because I already did it a little bit. About 66, that could even be too much. But now it's just going to be really slow. And now I'm going to go into my second clip. Now you want to right click, go to properties, disable resample, maintain aspect ratio. Now we're really going to go and go in here and uh, split every clip uh, at the gunshots. Now I'm just going to show the five on. And that's how far up is it? Okay, so it's still up here yet. It's about right in here. <coughs> Once it loads, okay. So COD four, the bullet will disappear at the same time you shoot. So I use my arrow keys, go right and left. I'm going back because I already went too far. I'm just gonna look for the one the bullet first disappears right there. So I'm gonna hit S on my keyboard. Go to the next one. <laughs> it should be about right here. <clears throat> so I I just watch the bullet. You can the best way to do it is watch when the gun kicks back. I'll show you right in a second. Usually when the gun kicks back or when you see the flash from your gunshot. It's like if you look the skull kind of um. Uh, kind of kicks towards you 
and you also see the flash and then the bullet disappears but the best time to do it is when the gun kicks back that's going to be the easiest way to uh, tell now there's only three shots <clears throat> i'm just gonna use my arrow keys go forward and right about here right there so i'm gonna hit s on my keyboard once again now i'm just gonna shorten this so it doesn't look all sloppy i'm just gonna click and i'm gonna hold shift and click the last clip so it highlights all those I'm just going to slide it this way. Okay, so now I have my playing room and it's not going to look too bad. Now, I have my own style of editing. What I do is when the scope starts to scope in, what I do is I cut it. So right about here, I would split it and then speed it up. And then put it here. And then I just hold my control key and extend it. So it'll go slow. Or what you can do is you can just hit the control key and then put it right in between your markers. And you want to make sure your markers are right, like, per, like almost perfect with the wave. So that's the peak of the wave. That's where you want it. This one, it's right there. So we're just gonna go just like that. But I mean, you can. T it's easiest to tell when gun when you have the gunshots. And I do have gunshots, and I'll, um, I'll put those in on, on here. And I'll play it through to show you guys what it sounds like. And actually what I'll do is I'll also show the finish edit like this at the end as well. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so now you have it all synced up. And then if you wanted to, you could split it right there. Just speed up just a couple frames. And then we'll split it right there. Right click, go to velocity. Slow it down. What about 17? Then you can extend it. It's going to be really slow. And then slow it down like that a little bit too if you want. It's going to be really slow now. Let's just speed that up just a little bit. There we go. Now, if we just play it through, if if you want to get like this effect, this is what you do when you render out. But I'll just click with your uh, with your mouse on your left click with your mouse and hold, and then you'll drag a highlighted area. And then when you go to render it out as a video format file, this is the only area that's going to render out, not everything that you have in here. Because what it would do is it would render from here all the way to the end of every last bit of. Um, whatever's on your timeline but if you just do the highlighted section and when you go to render there's this option right here that says render loop region only that's what that is <laughs> but uh this kind of just it's like basically in after effects is a ram preview this is the same thing basically we'll just play it through Now, I'm just going to change the preview to quarter, and we'll just go right here so you can see. And because of that, my computer's just really slow. And that's what it's going to look like. And then it's going to fade in as well. I don't know how much it's fading in, though. Okay, that's quite a bit actually. We don't need it to fit in that much. We'll just do about five. It's it's a quick fade. And then what we'll do is we'll just drag this on right there and then it'll just what I'll do is I'll when I bring the next file in, I'm just gonna have it instantly switch. It's just gonna be a straight up cut, so it's gonna go from here to here which will look pretty nice and then i'll show you in the next episode how to pan crop which is this tool right here it basically what it does is it does it gives you screen bumps and then maybe i'll do some effects in there too later but anyways so now the um say you just want to render this region out <coughs> gonna go to render as <laughs> 
and then wherever you want to say I say I want to save it right here I'm just gonna title it tutorial and then save as file type go to Sony AVC mp4 m2ts and AVC and then you want to go to internet 1280 by 720 and you're gonna click the 30p and then go to custom now it's like editing your properties on in Sony Vegas video format to AVC high definition 1280 by 720 profile just do baseline um, this is what I was showed as what to use all my settings as now there's not an option for 59.94 just type in 59 point oops point 94 and then that'll save like that and then same pixel aspect ratio rate and so forth and then you can save it if you want now and then you can save it as whatever I have mine saved as equals render right here so that's just what mine saved as make sure that this box is checked it's not going to be checked make sure it is checked and then you just hit save and then it'll render out now I'll just show you guys what the full edit's gonna look like with just the screen uh, with the syncing. So until next thing I'll see you later.